are there certain things that you kind of draw from last year's leadership group and how you're going to kind of implement it for this year's team? Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, the leaders we had last year, you know, and Bo and, and Cuzzo and, and, and McMichael there, they were all returning guys from the year before. And, um, so they had that experience just, you know, similar to us, you know, we got me and Caden had that experience coming back. So, um, you know, I think the biggest thing that they had was just, you know, they went out and, and, you know, played the best hockey they could and, and led by example and, you know, through their work ethic, through their impact on the game, they, they went out there and, you know, were true leaders on the ice and, you know, something that they had, I think Bo really had last year was, uh, you know, he, when he talked, it meant something, um, you know, he was for the most part, lighthearted and, and joking around kind of similar to ghouls. Like he just, for the most part, just having a good time, keeping a smile on everyone's face. But when he means business, when something needs to be said, he's going to say it. And, and, you know, ghouls has that, you know, nibs has that, I think, uh, you know, that's what I'm trying to portray and, and do as well. So, um, there's lots to learn from last year's leadership group and, you know, going to try and bring some of that to, to this year's team. Obviously it sucks having those games canceled. Um, you know, everyone's kind of itching to start playing, you know, throw that sweater on and start representing your country. Um, you know, it's, uh, everyone's really excited for that and, you know, having those games canceled sucks, but I think at the same time, it's given us an opportunity to have, you know, a couple extra practice days, stay in Banff a little bit longer, um, and, you know, spend a little bit more time together here as a team and, um, I think, you know, these practices in the next couple of days that, that we're going to get, um, due to the cancellation of the games are, are important. You know, we've only had, you know, four or five team practices together. So, um, you know, every skate we can get is, is very important and, and, uh, you know, crucial for us. So as much as a game is, uh, is important and, um, uh, fun and, and, you know, ways to learn, I think practicing, um, you know, is, is great as well. So. It's, uh, it, it sucks, but you know, now we, it kind of happened the same as last year. So we had games canceled, only had one game against Russia before the tournament started. So kind of sim similar situation and, um, just the way it is. And, and we'll be ready, uh, for that first pre pre tournament game. Can you just give me a sense of, of where you guys are feeling going into the tournament? How confident are you guys that you can, you can win that gold medal? Yeah, I think we're really confident. Um, you know, on paper, we know what we can do you know, individually, our team is super talented, super skilled, and a lot of high draft picks, a lot of uh, signed NHL players, a lot of, you know, a lot of talent. And I think that's, that's recognized. Everyone realizes how, you know, good we are. And um, now it's just going to be coming together as a team. That's the biggest thing. Um, you know, everyone's kind of their top guy on their club team back home and, um, you know, playing all important roles. So now it's going to be buying into their, to their new role on this team and, you know, becoming one and, and, you know, building friendships and, and, you know, just becoming a family. I think that's the biggest thing. If we can become, you know, close and, and, you know, all on the same page and, and, you know, building in the same direction, um, that's going to be, you know, that's just going to be so beneficial for us. And I think, uh, that'll lead to tons of success. You know, we got the skill, we got the work ethic, we got the, you know, the grittiness, you know, everything about it, we got, we just have to go out there and, and put it all together and be a, you know, be the best team. Now that's the biggest thing. We got to be the best team. So, um, you know, I think, uh, lots of team building stuff here in Banff and all that, but, uh, you know, we're, we're heading the right direction and it's getting better. We're getting closer every day. So it's exciting. Uh, Cole, you've played, uh, almost 50 pro games. Will it seem odd playing against your peers at the same age when you played, you know, 50 games a game against much older players, probably. Uh, I don't think, I mean, maybe a little bit, not too weird. I think, you know, I'm only, even though I've played 50 games, I'm only 50 games removed from junior. You know, it's only been kind of really half a year, a year maybe removed from junior. So it doesn't feel that weird. Um, you know, it's, it felt a little weird the first day coming back, but, you know, now being here, it's, it's normal being with all the guys and, you know, being with uh, guys that I've known for so long. Um, so, no, I don't think it's going to be weird. I think uh, it's definitely going to be an adjustment period. You know, there's a different play style between the AHL and, and this tournament. So it's going to you're going to have to adjust a little bit, and that's what we're doing in practice every day. So um, I'm just looking forward to it. It's nice to be back with, you know, guys my age and, 
you know, be one of the older guys, you know, usually I've always been uh, one of the younger guys on the teams I've played for. So to be the older guy on the team, it's kind of cool. And to kind of have that experience, it's fun. So um, looking forward to it and excited to start playing.